So I got another oil. It's a used oil filter. Nissan, you know, genuine parts. 152086050FOE or FOE. Uh, it is made in Mexico. Don't know what it came off, but it sure does look well built. So I drill holes in my used filters now so I can drain the oil out a whole lot better. Tip them over, then tip them this way, and they drain out pretty good. So, what can I say about it? Not much. I don't know what it's from. It came in a little while ago, and uh, I decided, hey, I'm going to... See, I've got a whole bunch of oil filters kind of saved up that I don't really want to make too many videos on until it gets cold here in the winter. So, I'm going to do these sparingly. Uh, through the months so that I have enough content for my winter time when I cannot do my product reviews outside when it's too cold. Yeah, maybe I'll have to try something else. I don't know. Um, but yeah, Nissan oil filter. It does look pretty good. The uh, ceiling ring, the little indentation on it that holds it into the filter and that probably will not come out. There we go. Clean out the little recess here. And uh, what does it say on here? Made in Mexico, Nissan Motor Company. But uh, what does it say right there? I just can't make it out. And it says something right here, and I think it's the group that makes them. But uh, yeah, well, I'm gonna give her a cut open, and we're gonna see what this one is kind of got inside. Huh, I see, look at that. Um, <laughs> yeah, the last filter I did was kind of big, so of course, this is way out here. <laughs> Put in some music here while I'm doing this. All right, I don't add music. I'll make my own. And we're there. All right, let's get cutting her open. Tighten her up a little. Hopefully. Oh, I think it's breaking through already. <laughs> I haven't actually sharpened this or done anything with this cutting wheel in a long time because it's been so, so nice to use this one. I don't know why it cuts so nice, but it just seems to stay sharp all the time. Yeah, this one was pretty thin. And she is cut open already. Hmm. Thank goodness for the cutting wheel. But yes, let me back her out a bit because... Who knows when my next filter will be. Yeah, it'll probably be next week sometime. But let's check what we got here. Okay, let's pull the top off. All right, we got eight holes on all the way around. It's not badly built. This isn't badly built at all. Um, how many threads? Oh my word. One, two, three. I think there's four threads there's four threads and well it's it's weighty enough it's it feels sturdy it's very sturdy base plate so probably I'd have no problem getting that off so that's not too bad uh, we got a silicone oh very silicone-y still why do I not have gloves let me get some gloves on why oh boy got some gloves on so yes, the silicone, <laughs> that feels like it's brand new. Okay, let us pull the canister out, see what we got. And it does have this stamp steel spring. Well, as far as we know, they do work. And let's see what we got here. Let me give her a little wipe off here. Get some of this oil on the outside. All right, what do we got? Well, we have, well, that's what we do have, yes. 
we have the release valve that just broke my pen hey live action right and I think I hit that release valve with oh I got a piece of pen stuck in there so it won't release now uh, but yeah this is uh well built it looks like uh, metal ends always top notch in my books and uh well, we see that the uh, it looks like they're well spaced the pleats here for for the filter but it does not have a uh, a steel retainer here to keep it together it's just glued together to keep the filter together but all in all so far not well or i mean not badly built still probably a decent filter but uh, let me cut off that filtration and see what we have underneath there we go filtration is cut this stuff is staining the gloves what kind of oil or the oil may have been in too long it looks really dark and uh, or the engine's just filthy inside whatever car this came off or truck or well it's a small oil filter i'd say a little four cylinder car but uh, we'll just take this out i see all sorts of sparklies in here so whatever vehicle this did come out of maybe they should have done more oil changes look at all the sparklies let me see here's where it comes apart yeah that probably would have held fine Oh, this engine is was it was just destroying itself, I can see. Look at all of the sparkles in this thing. There are so many pieces of metal in this oil filter. I wonder if the people know. Probably not. Wow, that's pretty weak. Weak, but I can tell it is a filter with uh, different types of uh, filtration make medium in it. And yeah, it's, it's pretty layered. It's layered with different types of filtration. So I'd say it did a great job. If I look at this, turn it over. There's, there's the, here is the inside. Nothing got through of any sparklies or anything to the inside. So it did a great job on that. I'd say this, this filter probably does just a fantastic job at what it's supposed to do. Well, let's take a look. Uh, the inner tube is your usual steel stamped uh, roll. It's uh, just your usual. The glue, eh, not too sloppy, a little, a little heavy in spots, but it, it's not too bad. I would think it's not too bad. But uh, it's well built, well built filter, and hmm, yeah, a little thinner than some normal filters, but eh, doesn't look like it had much of a problem. So probably worked out fine, except this engine is probably toast by now. If the people actually know, I don't know. Maybe this was a filter that came off the engine for the first time and this is break-in oil that's in here because it seems awfully funny and thick and weird looking so might have been break-in oil don't know but there shouldn't be that many sparklies in an engine but uh, yeah for a nissan oil filter i'd say it's pretty well built and should have no problems running these on your vehicle uh, nissan probably since it's a nissan filter and yeah, they uh, probably work out fine on those uh, vehicles. Probably work fine on any type of vehicle, really. But I don't know. You can probably only get these for Nissan. I haven't checked. But uh, yeah, it's well built. And if I had a Nissan, yeah, I'd probably buy the... No, nah, I wouldn't. Why? Why? These are probably expensive. Why would I put this filter when there's so many other choices out there that are probably built just as well or better than some of these. But so probably worked out fine for the peop for whoever owns a vehicle that's a Nissan that wanted to run this filter. So yeah, I'm not gonna give it a pass or a fail because it actually does its job. It did what it was supposed to and kept all of the metal particles from the inside of the filter where it could have gone back into the engine. So it, it's doing its job. So 
Um, would I run these? Eh, probably not. But uh, I don't know how much they cost either, so I never checked. But uh, yeah, fine filter. Um, well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. And uh, I'll bring you another one next time.